Hey, this is a little game I stumbled upon. It's called Castle Defense. The upgraded version of it. There was an original version, but I, I haven't played that one yet. It's at coolmathgames.com. Uh, sorry, that's coolmath-games.com. I just want to showcase my strategy in case uh, there's other people who have to play this little game and uh, are interested. Alright, here we go. First, I start off. You start with thousand dollars. Each one of these cannons is two hundred. I start off by putting five cannons in a row here. The reason why I picked this spot is because you can shoot them when they're coming and when they're leaving. Um, so you double your area of effect, really. And um, what I just do is I double up the row, so it becomes what I'm trying to do here is a two by five. So I have ten cannons in this area. If you look over here, there's also another opportunity to do that uh, in this area. You can shoot them when they're coming and when they're leaving again. And that's exactly what I do. You can buy uh, cannons without waiting for the round to finish. You play. There's not really a need to do that, but if you want to click in the face. I just had a little call there. Um, okay, yeah, getting back to this. Just let these guys come through, get some points here. The bias to This could probably do right here. Um, just having the two by three to the two by four, but I know this way four works. Uh, specifically for level ten, which is the last level. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do two by four. I'm gonna buy right now, actually. All right, uh, this is it. This is my defense. The only thing you really need now is uh, dragons because there are these little these little robotic dragons that come around and the only thing that can damage it are real dragons uh, but they cost 3500 so I'm gonna need a little bit more actually quite a bit more money before I buy one of those I think I should get it after this round also note by uh, level 4 I've already if you're just doing, if you're copying my uh, strategy, then you, you already be done your entire defense, uh, except for the dragons, of course. All right, I got some money for a dragon now. Um, I'm just gonna start it. Uh, you can put your dragon in a couple places. I like to put them in corners because it maximizes um, their area of effect. Uh, uh, you could put them right in the beginning. Uh, right in this corner, but I don't like to do that because what happens is it has a very slow rate of um, fire. So if it attacks something before the dragon, then it could basically you could basically end up attacking less dragons. Because again, if it attacks something before the dragon, it has to wait so long before it shoots again. Um. Anyways. Here we go, I'm just going to buy this dragon right now. I'm going to put it over here, this is pretty far, so you guys are going to have to wait till it comes around, but this is really the safest spot to put it. Uh, actually, you can put it right here too, and here, this is not too bad, considering there's so few dragons on in the coming round. Yeah, see, now you have to wait till it goes all the way around. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I probably should have put them right up here, speed things up. I know this game looks pretty easy, but, um, it's not. It is easy. It is easy. It's definitely easy. And it's a lot more simple, like a, a than um, StarCraft or other type of um, games like this. But uh, it's not quite as easy as seems. I've developed, um, well, not developed, but uh, I've come across this uh, 
strategy and it makes things look really easy but you'd have to figure this out on your own um, because this track is shaped the way it is this one's pretty easy it's hard to screw this one up but the next track after you beat this like I said I think I mentioned before it's only 10 levels but once you beat the, the 10 levels you get one lock a different track and that track is uh, that track is better because it's a little more challenging because you don't you don't have this pretty big uh, it's major exploit really where you can it's like almost buying two for one buy one cannon if you shoot and um really has twice the area effect so this track is really easy the next track is um is hard I'll probably post a video for the next track this one probably wasn't even necessary but no why not I just got Camtasia and I wanted to try it out alright There you go, just against it. Oh, okay. Okay, if you get some good money, and then you'll be able to put a third dragon just to solidify your win. Um, with this little defense, you should never get any damage on your your castle. Alright, I'm just gonna buy this dragon real quick. Put him, put him right here. And that's it. This is um, you don't have to put anything more. I think you might be able to afford one more dragon. I'm not sure. I don't like using the archer and the uh, catapult. I think they're pretty useless. I'd rather just put clusters of cannons to seem more effective. Uh, the other ones would probably be pretty effective if it wasn't for the fact that their the price was so high. Their price is really high and instead of just getting one of those you can just get like <laughs> two or five. Uh, no, two or four in the case of um, the catapult. Why not? Uh, two or four cannons, that is, sorry, in the case of uh, the catapult. Catapult is 750, so $50 less, and you can almost get four. So, um, they're pretty useless, in my opinion. Alright, this is the last level. Yep, pretty streamlined. Again, I'll probably uh, post a video of um, the second track because that one's uh, that one's a little more challenging. If you like these kind of games, by the way, and um, you find them really easy, then you should probably pick up StarCraft if you've never played it. It's really old game. Uh, you can probably get it for under thirty bucks now, and um, again, it's more challenging than this. This game's pretty. I mean, this is a little game on some random site. I doubt many people play this. But uh, again, I just got Camtasia. I want to try it out, and I happen to like this game anyways, and I want to post something about it. I saw a few more posts uh, on YouTube for the older version of this game but not many for the new version so I thought I would post one alright and that's a perfect game uh, no damage to your castle and this is the access code 232374 for the new track which looks like this so as you can see, uh, you can't use that exploit where one cannon really works as two. Well, there you go. That's uh, that's my strategy for castle defense at coolmath-games.com. Tell me what you think.